But yeah, they're just all out of out of straight, if you want to put it that way. See, look at how that one's cockeyed down there. But made a little frame up there. Now I'm cutting the shelving. Do some grilling of hamburgers. So we're gonna do a quick grill. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna do a fancy hamburger. There. There. So we get the burgers on there. If you want the temperature to come down, close your chimney. Close your flute. I got the fluid open so I get some airflow in there to keep the temperature up a bit. I got that closed down so it's going to moderate the temperature a bit. I put the grease down on the coals to get those flames to pop up and start burning the coals more close the lid to get the smoke of the coals going we're using AC Pro so I'm gonna char start charging oh it's almost like ice now that's what I needed and that's how easy it is to Charge your AC. See the look? I did him a nice blue. For now. And then I will uh, next weekend I will go ahead and get the springs in and the shocks in. And then Set her down, put the put the spring uh, sway bar back up, and then we'll see what happens after that. All right, uh, let's go back over the other side. Oops, that went over top. How did that go over top? Life than it is on the camera. Okay, I got the key. Me inside. There's a second one up there. You can't even see the second one on camera, but you can see it in real life. With your eyeballs but we don't have metal to metal on the body making that noise so it's a sound deadening kind of thing but we're close we're real close getting that top bolt out on that shock i was leaning my head up against the jack and you know i got long hair but uh it kind of took some of my hair with it my hair got stuck in the uh in the bolts that's my hair And now we're getting it fired up. There's a screensaver for y'all. And that's just one little plate. Right there with some stuff on it. I wish the focus would focus, but it's not going to, of course. All right, about 18 inches. And I got to get it just under 14 inches. So I gotta compress this four inches down so I can wedge it up in there. So now. All right. One little thing I want to tell you not to do. Don't take a ratchet wrench. And put it on these to tighten okay this is what you tighten it with don't put a ratchet wrench on I learned the hard way once it's compressed down you're not getting this back off of there again so open end or half inch drive in there okay but what I'm doing is I'm compressing them down I gotta get four inches compressed in order to get this in the driver's side so I got me a 
I got a 7 8 and a 21 millimeter. And uh, right there, I'll bolt it back up. That one and put them in the bowl then I'm going to mix the ground beef in because I want to add this a little at a time. I don't These are the veggie burgers. Kind of looks like pimento loaf, doesn't it? Uh, that's not pimento, that's red bell pepper. You saw what's in there. You guys saw everything that went in. Shiny D going to peel them up and then pop, pop them in the cast iron. For me, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cube them up and do them the way I'm going to do them. Uh, look at her waiting, waiting for a peel to drop so she can eat it. All right, and that's Shawnee's page right there. Got gaming and stuff on it. Let's see, videos. Here's his videos and stuff he's got. I got to keep the lid open to get that hot, cook that down. I'll probably put some burgers on here shortly. Some of them on there, I want to get some smoke going on them. Just let her cook. There's the done burgers, veggie burgers. They're in house and so are the taters. All right, so gonna be burger with vegetables. And we also got potatoes. All right. And there she is, the burger. I didn't put any cheese on mine. Let's see how she goes in the taters too, yum, yum, yum. All right, and uh, they really came out great. So, just to let you know, I want to let you know how they came out great. I put the little clip in here of uh, my son's uh, YouTube channel. I'll put the link down below. And uh, go on over. Hey, hit them up. Give them a couple likes on some of their videos. You know, just uh, subscribe. You know, let them build up a subscriber base there. You know, you got kids out there who are into gaming or you're into gaming. You got some tips and stuff for them. Hop on over to his channel. Jump on in there. Put some comments in. Okay? Okay? And same with this channel. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Comment. I, I leave things open in these things for questions. I'll say one thing, do something else, and then I'll, I'll change that up and I'll leave gaps in here where I'm, I'm expecting someone to ask questions on stuff. I'll do that stuff on purpose on a lot of these videos. I'll leave openings in for uh, for questions. So, What is Motocraft? What did we get? We got Star Solenoid. That's off. Planter garden, not doing so well. I finally got a zucchini flower open. One thing I like to do is take a little paintbrush and lightly dab the center where the pollen is, and then go over to where the flowers are for my tomatoes and dab in there. Just slightly. So that can go ahead and cross pollinate. You can read right here. Oh, and no, no, no misfires, no backfires. 
Uh, no the, spitting. So the tuner that rebuilt that, he's the guy that did all the vehicles for uh, Fast and Furious. Oh, really? Yeah. Fast and Furious? <laughs> I gotta meet the guy. Yeah, they work on some high, high end, high end vehicles. No I wonder that thing's like almost perfectly running. I mean, perfectly running. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on, let me try this. And that says 68,306 miles on this. Okay. If that was 168, you'd know it. I can set my morning coffee on them uh, cam covers right there, and I'm not going to spill a drop. And listen to this. Smooth. No misses in it whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, how about now you're gonna do a drive-by? Look at that. Watch, watch this motor. It's no movement whatsoever on this motor. and touch it all up that paint is fried on that thing but there she sits a bit open see where it goes right above it anything higher now nah, it's gonna be too hard to reach that's a decent sized shelf all right so uh following and that little bracket there i did by guesswork i put a piece of wood up there straight piece and i decided okay this is about the angle i need didn't mark it, didn't measure it. Took it over to the bench over there. Put it on there and guessed with the hand saw right up there. And I took that hand saw and I cut the pieces. I cut the on the angle. 